What's up Ozones? Welcome to the Ozone and welcome to another video where we are talking about a little bit of FNAF news. Now this is very um, kind of indirect FNAF news per se because it's not really, it's not really, how do I explain it? It's not exactly news you'd expect. Not like this game is coming out then, This there's this fan game that's being made, this this new thing has been revealed about security breach. No, it's actually about this project that is apparently in the works in secret. And I'm really confused. <laughs> um, but hopefully um, we can we can put some thought into it and maybe understand uh, what it will be. So basically, uh, we got a load of drawings um, shown to us by Lady Fizzy, who I believe, uh, and don't quote me on this, I believe she does the work for the front covers of the Fazbear Frides books, which are excellent. And she's recently been doing some drawings um, which she usually does. She does a lot of um, FNAF kind of fan art, I guess. But recently, these ones have been different. And the reason they're different is because they are copyrighted under Scott Cawthon. Now, you may not think this is a big deal at first, but it kind of is because having the Scott Cawthon copyright means he's probably doing something with these, right? And where are they gonna fit in? Well, let's have a look at the drawings. These are the first ones. So it kind of seems like the top half of this picture um, kind of corresponds to the bottom half. They're kind of like um, kind of like developing the characters uh, in the top kind of character design. And then the final product is on the bottom. And these look so cool. I really like the designs of these, um, mainly because they're like they're really scary without trying. Like the proportions of the face, if you if you look at Freddy in particular, I think Freddy is a really good um, kind of example of this, but Freddy has facial proportions that make his his overall face kind of smaller than his head. Um, that's not the way to explain it. The face to head ratio is smaller than that of regular Freddy. And I really like that because it, it's kind of cartoonizing it a little bit more. It's a bit like a caricature where you, you take parts of the face and you make them larger or smaller um, to, to put more character into your drawings. And I really like these, except there's something weird about them. At first, they look really cool and you would say, Yes, they're the toy animatronics. Of course they're the toy animatronics. We have the big red cheeks, uh, Toy Bonnie is there, and um, of course Toy Bonnie is light blue colored, unlike the other Bonnies. But the more you look at it, the more things don't seem to add up. For one, why do they have like cabinets in, 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 their, in their bellies? It's kind of reminiscent of the fun times, and you can even see um, in the top kind of image, uh, that there are some drawings of, uh, I think it's Chica, yeah, Chica's kind of um, kind of face popping out. And it's really weird um, because these were made a year ago. And so no, this wasn't like an early fun time animatronic kind of sketch. This wasn't an early rock star animatronics. It, it wasn't an early anything. This is for something coming up. And it's really strange to me because I have no idea what it could be. It could be for Security Breach, but I don't see how this would kind of fit in with Security Breach. Maybe for Tales from the Peterplex, but again, where would these guys come in? So it's it's it's, it's very strange, and I don't know what to make of these. Um, maybe it's going to be a new book or something, uh, an animated cartoon, maybe a little bit like Freddy and Friends on tour, except um, there's more kind of... I guess you could say lore, or more of a story to it. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. But then we have our second big piece of art, and this one is insane. Again, by Lady Fizzy. I, I really hope I'm saying that right. Lady Fizzy. Um, I could be saying that completely wrong. It could be Fizzy. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> this is our second piece of art. It looks like a banner. That's, that's my first kind of thoughts about this. It looks like a banner of some sort. I don't know, again, where this would fit in, but um, it does look like a banner. It's of this house, and it's really, really strange. Again, this this could be some sort of Tales from the Peterplex thing. I did notice the, the moon in the background is very, it stands out a lot, and it's, it's very reminiscent of Moondrop. But I don't know. 
I really don't know. So let's have a look at a few things in this uh, quickly. So it seems like it's kind of like a crime scene. You know, th there's the there's the light shining through. I'm assuming that's the kitchen. Or it could be the bathroom. I think it's the kitchen though. And there's something broken um, by the door frame. So could this be some kind of like crime scene game or something? Or maybe a book where you have to find out who did it? I don't know because that doesn't really fit into FNAF at all. It's really, really strange. And the first thing I pointed out when I was discussing this with a few people in a Discord was that the picture looks very reminiscent of Ballora, even though it's not Ballora. Um, it just kind of feels Ballora y to me. Um, I think it's very, um, I think it's literally just a woman, but um, I, I might be overthinking this and thinking it's Ballora. There's a mirror, uh, coat hangers and stuff. Not, not much, not much else. Um, there's this weird baby doll on the on the left. It kind of doesn't fit in, so I wonder how that's going to come into play. I don't know. Again, this could all be concept art for a game, um, but I'm not too sure about that. Uh, it could be a book, um, which I think is more likely. But I don't know. What do you guys think about this? Um, of course, there is the one thing that I haven't pointed out yet, which I'm, which I'm an idiot for not pointing out, which is the boy on the right. There's literally a boy sat in that position and I have no idea who that could be other than maybe crying child and that's interesting to me if it is crying child because that would mean possibly we could get an Afton Origins game and personally I would really like that I would really like a like a game or again a book um, just telling, kind of telling us about the Afton family because we don't know all that much we know that Afton kind of has three children but where's where's the wife in all of this um, you know, what was the relationship between the, the children and the father, I guess. Um, there's a lot of interesting things that this could all come into, so I want you guys to discuss in the comments what you think all of this uh, is, is kind of leading to. Are the two kind of images the same? Um, do they fit into the same, like, theme? Um, are they going to be for the same thing? Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, Thank you so much for watching, make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed, uh, and of course like the video, uh, and yeah, I will see you in another one, goodbye.